Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, in the last video last week I was had just completed this uh, charging station and was putting the first charge on that Red Odo 12.8 uh, volt 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And it's taken most of the week to get that to a full charge and that's only because it has been fairly poor charging conditions, but like I said last week, I was in no hurry, and with this charging station, uh, I just have 200 watts of solar tied into it, so I wanted to just go low and slow uh, on its first initial charge, which I have done. I have got this battery uh, now up to uh, float condition a couple of times in the past week, but I uh, ran a across a couple of things that caught my attention and I wanted to show you on the uh, the charging log from that Victron up there uh, of what happened over the past week with that. So right now you won't be able to see it but there's that Eile battery monitor and that battery is right now 93.5 percent full. It's not going to go into uh, full absorption today due to the uh, weather. It's very, very dark and rainy today, which is good because it's been a little on the dry side, so we're catching some water. And all of these components have worked well in the past week. It's really been the first time that I've uh, tried to charge up a battery of this size on it. I've uh, charged on a different system uh, some smaller batteries, but this was the first kind of a maiden charging session for this particular battery. So here we are looking at the uh, app for the uh, Victron charge controller. And the timing of that going off wasn't good, but anyway. So right here, this is the first day that it was hooked up to the Red Odo battery, uh, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day. And it shows you, uh, you know, the first day got 120 watt hours, so you can see it was a very poor charging day. Even the days that followed, not very good. Got 450 on the next day, 470 on the next day, a couple of 360, 360 watt hour days. And it was on the, so one, two, three, four, five, on the sixth day, well, let me go back to the fifth day. On the fifth day, you'll be able to see that that 360 watt hours, uh, the maximum battery voltage was 13.99. So it was just on the brink of, uh, you know, going into uh, absorption, full absorption and float mode. Didn't quite make it, but then on the, the uh, sixth day, uh, since it had been so close, it only took 50 watt hours to get up into a completely topped off battery. But here's what caught my attention, and I wasn't here to see this till later in the day. The max voltage, 16.02 volts. Now, I don't know what happened there. Uh, the, when I had looked at it later in the afternoon, it was at float, just like it should be. It was coming down from 14.2, letting in no power whatsoever, and, and just slowly going down to 13.5, where uh, the controller would have let more power in to hold it at 13.5, but it never even did go down that low. So then yesterday, I decided I, you know, I'd watch it as close as I could. And the, the battery is completely full. We can see that the lowest it went down to is 13.4 volts at rest overnight before it started back up. It only took 20 watt hours uh, to get it fully charged again. But now I was actually looking at the app. I didn't actually see it spike this 16.03 volts at all. But when I was looking at it right when it was just on the cusp of going to uh, float, uh, I saw all the power disconnect on the app to where there was nothing coming in. Like, like right here is what I was looking at. 
like right now you can see there's 18 watts coming in off those 200 watts worth of panel. So it's very, very dark, very, very rainy. But when I looked at it yesterday and it went to zero, I just went, oh, okay, it's just shut the power off. And then I saw that it, you know, it had spiked that 16.03 uh, voltage in right there. And the day before it had done 16.02. Now, if I go to show you what it looked like all day, you know, it was it took three hours and seven minutes in the bulk stage. The absorption, sta absorption stage was two hours, 19 minutes. That's all just right. And then it stayed in float the rest of the day. Just perfect. I still don't know what happened to, to make it spike. Whether, you know, it was one of those uh, cloud breaks after the panels were very, very cold. And, and it was just so darn close to being topped off that just this for momentarily, uh, you know, it shot it up to 16.02. And I don't know if it tripped the BMS on the battery and then it just reset immediately. Or, or I don't know if the, uh, the charge controller, uh, you know, didn't, didn't stop it or if it did stop it. It's kind of confusing. I really don't know. Now today, after yesterday, everything, same kind of thing. Bulk took about three hours, absorption, couple of hours, which that's what it's supposed to do. And then the rest of the day, all in float. So everything's working good and looking fine. I put uh, a pretty serious charge on the battery today uh, and ran up, oh, about 700 watts at its highest point of power, uh, running some a uh, coffee maker just to see and watch and see if anything weird happened. It did not. Everything worked as it should. And today it's just not going to get up to a full charge. So it's just that high voltage spike that I see. And it, like I said, on that first day that it happened, uh, I wasn't watching it closely enough. It just caught my attention later in the day. But when I looked at it, everything was floating along just as it should be. Same thing yesterday, just floating along. But there was a brief moment uh, that the charge controller caught it at 16 volts. So I don't know what to assume. I, I, I think maybe that the charge controller just uh, shut it down immediately and then the next time I looked at it, it was allowing the appropriate wattage in just to hold it at float. And there was absolutely no problem. But I really liked the fact that I could go back. And I wanted to say that I've never seen a spike uh, with the Victrons ever. I have used this 7515 uh, in many, many other applications around here. And I've watched it. I've never seen that do that uh, going to absorption or float with any other battery. So I don't really actually know what happened here. I'm going to continue to watch it. I'm not very concerned. The fact that I was watching it so closely yesterday and the moment I saw it shut power off or solar panel power off, um, the battery was just exactly where it needed to be. So kind of a mystery. So I'm going to continue to watch uh, this thing very closely. I don't see any reason to be very concerned. If it did have that just momentary spike, I've seen that uh, with those EP Evers quite a bit. And then I had to uh, adjust my charging voltage uh, down a little bit to keep that from having that little momentary spike. First time I've ever seen it on this particular charge controller. And I'm glad I had the app to where I could see that it actually did happen, even if it was only a split second. At least I caught that and can be aware of it. But the battery's doing fine. Uh, everything else is doing absolutely fine. If I hadn't have caught it on that app up there, I would have never known that it happened because everything has uh, been working perfectly. So I just wanted to pass that along, see if any of you guys have run across that as well, especially using the Victrons. That's the first time ever, and I've got uh, a few of them running in different applications. First time I ever caught a uh, little spike in the voltage while it's charging. 
Hope you're all having a good weekend. Aloha.